Hey guys, what up? It's me updating on my Tuesday little video diary thing. Sorry I haven't sorry I didn't update last week, but I didn't really have anything to talk about and I didn't want to like bore y'all, but I actually do have some stuff to talk about this week. And I'm actually putting in some eye drop stuff because apparently I, j I just came back from the doctor and apparently I have like a little bit of pink eye and a little bit of and a cut on my eye, so I'm like I'm like so far my left eye is like kinda of going funky and all that. So I just gotta put some medicine in it, but I'm gonna do that later. Uh uh, my week's been, my week's been actually, weeks, plurals, have been actually pretty good. Um, I went swimming with Taylor, Taylor Rispy a while back, I think, probably like at the first week of August, I think, and, uh, I actually called up UNT, and it turns out that, um, I have all my classes, like, enrolled and all that, but I don't have anything paid for, so I don't technically have it, but, um, turns out they have everything on hold, everything's good, I just don't have my money. And according to them, the government can't legally give me my money until 10 days before school starts. And I have to pay for my classes in like two days, but they said, but it, since I'm on financial aid, they, by the time I have to, by the time I have to pay for it, like the 15th, the day I have to pay for it, nothing will like, I won't like get a, what's it called, fine for stuff like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say fine, I would just say like, I won't get in trouble for that. They can't drop my classes, they can't do nothing. But everything's on hold. Everything's like financially, kids. We're a little bit special. We everything's on hold for us until we get our money. But the good news about that is I owe like five thousand dollars. But my financial aid says that I'm gonna get ten thousand dollars to pay for my classes, and I owe five thousand. So after the you know after I get my change and all that, I get like five thousand dollars to spend however I want. So that's pretty legit. And on another note, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check, check this out. Look, look. UNT has sent me my own debit card and it's backwards to y'all so y'all don't know all this but look at this check this out i get my own freaking debit card that's, that's pretty legit that's pretty chirp 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 you see me talking to the people that's one of the finer things i won't miss but yeah that's my word chirpy yapping over there she kind of mad because i just got back from like i said just got back from the doctor and she's been like fussing all day trying to get out so trying to get out but i actually so yeah this week i pay for my classes and all that and I get my money. And next, not this Saturday, but next Saturday is actually when I move. And I'm kind of half happy, half sad. Because, one, I got to freaking pack up everything in my room. It's not that bad, but I really don't want to pack again. Because I just, honestly, I just, like, unpacked and got everything settled. There's only, like, one box in here. And that's just, like, a box full of fragile picture frames and all that. But I really don't feel like packing. And another thing is I got to go to Big Lots and get... Not only some new bedspreads and all that, I have to get like almost all my, all like my toiletries and all that, like, like toothpaste, like shampoo, lotion and all that, I gotta get like all that stuff in bulk, and I have to go to Big Lots to get that, and I feel like, I really don't feel like, you know, doing that, all I want, like packing for me is easy, but I just don't feel like having to unpack and have to go all that and like sort everything out, but uh, but, it, but it's, it's college, I gotta deal with that. But I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm actually a little bit excited about college because on my first day, I only have like three classes. Like, I have like two to three classes every single day. So on my first day, I get like three classes and I'm like, I'm actually like done by like one o'clock. One o'clock, I'm actually done with my school day and I just can chill. But um, on another new note, my mom's friend's friend's son. So like a friend of a friend of my mom, his son is actually going to UNT, and he's a senior, he's a senior year, and he, shh, shh, I'm trying to tell her, shh, shh, hush, hush, she's a little cranky, she, she knows I gotta move in a few days, and she doesn't want me to move, because I can't, I can't take her with me, I want to, because she's not that bad, she's actually right here on the, right here, and it's still screwing like this, she's actually not that bad, she's pretty sweet, she just gets a little fussy a lot of times, but she's actually kind of mad, because she knows my, Pet bird chirp knows I can't take her to college. And she's mad about that. I'm, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. So you say hi to people. But yeah, like I said, my mom's friend's friend's son. He goes to UNT and he's a senior, and so he's gonna be kind of kind of like a he's gonna be kind of like a big brother to me my first freshman year. But the funny thing about this is my mom's friend. She he's like you know how black people always have that one friend in the family or that one person in the family who like does who went to jail or is like the bodyguard of the family like if you mess with our family i'll come over and shoot you that's what he kind of is 
So technically, I'm going to have that one black friend who, if you mess with me, I'll call him up and he'll come shoot you or he'll come beat you down. And it's pretty funny. Cause he's gonna, so he's going to be kind of like that older brother that's going to beat you up if you ever mess with me. So I'm like, that's, 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 pretty, that's pretty fun. That's pretty, that's pretty fun to know. I haven't met him yet, but he seems like a pretty... But I heard about, a lot about him. He's like a football player. So of course, you don't want to mess with him. But he seems like a pretty cool guy and all that. So I'm kind of excited for a little bit. I, you know, I have someone watching out for me. So I'm, I'm pretty excited and all that. But, uh... Yeah, that's what's been going on. Just been, this, I just gotta get through this week of paying for my classes. Then I gotta get through the next week of packing and going shopping and all that. Then just come the twenty eighth of twenty fourth is when I leave. But come the twenty eighth of August is when I start my classes. Yeah, she's just flying around over here. And I'm, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you so much. Like I'm gonna be bored in my dorm room because I live like near the stadium and that's like all the way across. That's like on the half other side of campus, and my class is on the other side. My class is on the opposite side, so that's gonna be kind of kind of a hassle, but I don't mind. I walk everywhere. Y'all know me. I, I walk everywhere. I will get to my destination. But she's still a little bit mad at me. But uh, yeah, that's that's what's been pretty going on through my head right now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go take these medicine because my eyes, like as you can see, my eyes been like I've been blinking a lot because my left eye, and so this has been really annoying so I'll, I'll talk I'll talk to y'all later get y'all an update tell y'all what's been going on with me and by the way just cause I have money don't go don't go ask for money from me like I love y'all and all that y'all my friends but I honestly I, I don't like giving away money to friends like I pay, I'll chip in to pay for stuff but I'm not like giving you money if you will like if I know for a fact you ain't gonna pay me back I'm like I'm, I'm sorry I'm not I'm just not a person that will give out money that easily okay like you gotta be in some deep 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 crap to allow me to give you money. Not trying to be cheap enough, I'm just, I'm a little sensitive when it comes to money. So it's a, it's a touchy subject for me. But, uh, yeah, that's what's up.